Welcome to my first ever discussion video on Star Citizen. Today I'm going to be talking about something that I've been thinking a lot about and it's something that I haven't heard anyone else ever talk about and that's using the Starfarer as a pirate vessel in Star Citizen. Now this is my first discussion video so please leave me some feedback in the comments I always love to hear what you have to say. Um, yeah so just let me know what you think. So in Star Citizen, I have been planning on being a pirate and running a syndicate, probably, for quite a while. And, um, well, I originally wanted to run a PMC, a private military company, that would be running under the law. Um, but then as I thought about it, especially with my name, right, uh, I figured it would be more appropriate for me to run a syndicate. And as I thought about that, I thought it would be really fun, and the idea just grew on me. And now I really want to be just this pirate overlord. I think it's going to be a really great fun time to do that and just to kind of catch people's ships and just get on board and open fire on them and take all their loot. And it'll, yes, it's, it sounds very great for me. So that's what I'm planning on doing. And so I've been thinking about how I would go about doing that for quite a while now. And um, I think basically... I was, I was planning on having some heavy firepower ships, uh, maybe getting a couple cutlasses to escort and use like tractor beams and such to, uh, as I'll put on the screen now, to uh, board maybe a constellation or uh, such things that um, this video that was made by the corporation quite a while ago using in-game assets uh, shows and uh, I've been kind of obsessing over this video recently and uh, with that then these past few weeks, uh, past few months really, they've been showing off a lot more of the Starfarer, and I think we're going to be getting it real soon because it looks almost completely done, and uh, even in between the a month ago and the video that came out, I think a couple, like this week, uh, there's basically all the things that I noticed that needed to be done have been done. So. It's all ready, and I was looking at it, and the ship really caught my attention because, first of all, it looks like a Firefly class, what is it, transport ship from the show Firefly. I know a lot of Star Citizen players are uh, familiar with the show, and it's a really great show. I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. But, uh, yeah, as soon as I saw, well, even kind of the outside of the ship, because I've been thinking a lot about how I could get an experience like that from Firefly in the game, uh, and I also noticed that the Firefly ship is pretty big. So I was looking and I saw the Starfarer and it caught my attention because it kind of has the, you know, the elongated front part just like the Firefly. It's a little different, but it is about the same size and you can tell if you look at the hangar. So the hangar really caught my attention right away. And as I was looking at the hangar, I thought, oh, because it's a cargo hangar, I thought, oh, you could fit a ship like a hornet or a gladius or if you couldn't fit those maybe a snub fighters in there and then it would be a cool uh kind of mini carrier and then that immediately went in my brain to oh i could use it for piracy somehow uh yeah so here's uh, a few more i'll get back to that later but here's a few more reasons why i think this ship will be great for piracy so basically first of all it is a self-sufficient ship. This is important. You won't have to get refuels from anyone because you are the refueling ship as a Starfarer, and it has been confirmed that the Starfarer will be able to refuel itself eventually by, well, by using uh, refineries to refine the fuel that you pick up from gas giants. So you can kind of exist on your own outside of the law. Just in your ship, you'll never run out of fuel. And uh, secondly, you can use refueling as a front. So first of all, it's a, it's actually a, a business that you could get money from if you can't find any ships to pirate. And uh, yeah, you always need kind of a, you could use it as a front to funnel your money, uh, you know, kind of a money laundering business. So that's a, another plus, so you won't get caught as often as pirate. Um, and Another thing, so then as I was making this video or thinking about researching all this stuff that I've uh, put together, which you'll be seeing on the screen, I, uh, I thought it would be really cool, even if, you, even if it would take way too long to open that hangar door, which 
uh, you'll see on the screen here too, because uh, I saw that and I said, oh, well, uh, a ship could definitely fit in there. So there were some questions in the Q&A that came out in 2015 about the Star Citizen uh, in May that um, the Starfarer wasn't planned on being able to fit little ships in its hangar, but now we see uh, CIG keeps making their ships too big, and now it could definitely fit ships in the hangar. My only concern would be the hangar door might be difficult to get in and out of. Uh, that'll be on the screen. But um, I then realized you wouldn't necessarily have to be able to launch your ships out quickly in order to do a pirate raid, as I was thinking originally. Uh, I thought, oh, you could just be... a ship could be refueling at your Starfarer, and then you could open this cargo bay door and just have a fully loaded Hornet in there, just fire out and just unleash on that ship or EMP the ship and then you could climb aboard. So this kind of spiraled in my mind and I've come up with uh, some very interesting ideas here. So here are uh, questions from the Q&A back from May in 2015. They, we do not expect the exploratory rover to fit inside the Starfarer's internal bay, although something like the Grey Cat should, you know, that's the tiny little kind of smart car. And they said sizing for the vehicles is still in flux. And in the final game, the limitation will be purely physical. So they're also saying there that the limitation of fitting ships inside of other ships for docking is going to be a physical limitation. So now we see with this bigger hangar that they've put in there, if a ship will fit in it, then you can put a ship in it. So that gives me a lot of hope for the Starfarer here. They also talked a lot about upgrading the Starfarer, so someone asked, will the Starfarer be upgradable to use as long-range scanner, jump engine, etc., to use as an exploration ship? And uh, they said, yes, um, the Starfarer is a customizable platform that can be adapted for roles beyond fuel and transport. And there are many, uh, many things they've released also that show the Starfarer with the headline as an adaptable ship or uh, upgradable ship, uh, customizable ship. So I think it will be a great choice for piracy. Now there's also the Starfarer Gemini, which has one size larger turrets and one size larger engines. Uh, it gives you a little less cargo space, so I don't know about that hangar thing with the uh, ship in there. Someone asked, can the Starfarer be retrofitted into a heavy but vulnerable gunship like the AC-130? Uh, and they replied, we aren't in a position to test this yet, but quite possibly. So obviously now we've come along quite a way and they are in, they've, they've expanded their goals and basically everything is possible now in Star Citizen. And they went on to say, the Starfarer, especially the Gemini version, has a number of weapon har hard points and other modular areas. We've already developed a potential missile pod that can be placed in the nose instead of refueling equipment. So you can actually, uh, you can actually customize this to be quite heavily fitted. The guns on it already are quite large. I'll put the stats on the screen for you here. Um, and in the Q&A number two, someone asked, and this is, this is a, a fun point for me, someone asked, will the EVA be required to operate uh, the boom, the refueling equipment? And they replied, no, the refueling equipment can be operated internally. However, we are play playing with a mechanic in which it is faster or more efficient if operation is from the external point. And later on, just a, a month ago, about we got confirmation of that, where they said in the uh, holiday live stream that a person should go out in the back to refuel. And we also got some concept art for the refueling. And someone else asked, can the tanks explode, and can they be used as tactical weapons mid-flight? And they of course replied, under certain circumstances the tanks can certainly explode. And uh, they said, as for tactical weapons, well, that's up to you. So, this idea caught me right away, so if you... This is just an amazing situation. I think that the Starfarer will become a very very notorious pirate ship because you're you're sitting there you're sitting there you're flying around you're gathering fuel you're doing pirate things whatever and you get a message on the comms and it says oh i need a refuel here i'm stranded out here and uh come refuel me so you go and you 
jump to them. They tell you their location and what kind of ship they are and everything, so you can decide whether you want to raid on them. And then you jump over towards them, and you you would uh, you can request them to basically do anything. And uh, Starfarer, they've they've commented on it's going to be very hard to refuel while flying while moving. Uh, so most people will come to a stop. So you can then come in as a Starfarer and say, okay, we're going to need you to stop your ship, turn off your ship, or whatever. Just sit there so that we can come in and refuel you. So the person will comply, of course, and then you pull up in front of them and you dock onto them. And the EVA, this is where that's important, the EVA person will go outside to refuel their ship to make sure it's all aligned and everything. And while they're out there, they could attach a, I don't know, whatever, a tracking device or uh, in the example I'm going to give here, they could attach an EMP to the the ship. Let's say it's a, a constellation or something, or a freelancer, a merchant ship, right? You want the cargo, you're going to pirate the cargo. Uh, so you attach an EMP onto that. Or, again, you could go back to the hangar idea, open up the hangar, have just a small snub fighter or a rocket launcher even with an EMP, and just EMP that ship. And then going back also to the tanks exploding and the tanks being potential mine laying like modifications to them. So you could you could just drop because you see the ship, the ship when it docks in for for uh, refueling goes right up in there with the cargo tanks or with the fuel tanks. So you could just release them around the ship right there and just blow the ship to hell. Uh, alternatively, of course, as I said, you could EMP the ship, which I think would be a better option. And then you have that cargo d door bay right there and the catwalk above. And so you just open up your ship. You have all your marines go out back. You jump on their ship, which already, even if you fail, their ship is stranded. They called you because they don't have fuel. So it's really a great situation. Uh... For pirates, I think that this ship is going to be an amazing pirate ship. But, um, yeah, so you have all these weapons in the back. You have a rear-facing cargo door base. So you could open that, have a whole squadron of marines fire out on the ship that you're attacking and uh, EMP them and detach your fuel tanks and blow them up and all that. And then you could climb on board and firefight with them and... Uh, take over the ship you'd have like a platoon of marines uh just uh board their ship and get in there and take all the cargo and then just blow their ship to hell using the fuel tanks and fly away and then you can of course say like oh where'd you get all this money and whatever and you say oh well i'm a refueling merchant <laughs> so i think it's going to be a great cover for for the uh pirates in this game. So now I am looking into getting one of these. I know that they're currently not selling. Oh, correct me if I'm wrong on any of this, but uh, yes, I am very interested in getting one and working up to getting one and just operating it as a pirate introduction platform of doom and despair and just catching people off guard like a, a, a trappy trap of catching yes so that's why i think that the uh starfarer is going to be a a really significant pirate ship in the game basically people will call you tell you where they're at it, you can ask them whatever you want and they'll probably comply because they they're stranded and then you go out to them they're stranded so they can't even get away if they realize it's a pirate attack right and um you just you they willingly dock with you with just the easiest the easiest situation to board. You won't even have to ever catch anyone. They'll just come to you and you can just board their ship, EMP their ship, whatever, get in there, take their cargo, and uh oh, and as a bonus, you could refuel. <laughs> I just thought of this now as I was talking. You could, in that situation, once you've docked with them, ready to pirate them, you could actually refuel their ship legitimately do business with them and then they would pay you for that and then and then after they've paid you you board their ship 
you kill them all, you take their money, and then you have a refueled ship that you can then steal, fly away with, and sell, or blow up, as I said before. So, yes, that is why I'm very excited for the Starfarer, and I'm also very excited for that big hangar room, having situations just like in, in Firefly, where, you know, all the, all the firefights happen. It's, it's a big enough ship that you can do stuff, you won't get bored in it, just flying around, and uh, there's lots of stuff to do with harvesting... Uh, gases and refuel or harvesting fuel so yeah that's why i think that the starfarer is going to be most excellent at this point i'd like to uh, thank you all for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like comment and subscribe i'm ninth skull and i'll see you next time bye bye